Nature versus nurture, super big question that we all wonder about, you know, how much of our capabilities and potential and just general themes of life, everything from how we look to what we're capable of doing or not doing in the moment or where we might be able to improve or not improve, we hear some of it's nature, some of it's nurture. So if we take a step back and we just ask a big question about human genetics, how much of our DNA is modifiable by our environment and what we do, what we choose to do in particular? Because that's most of what we're going to emphasize today. I think that's something we're still understanding at this point. I mean, I think every day we're getting more and more information about the ways that we can actually modify gene expression and these things that we thought were totally predetermined in the past. Um, and so, yeah, I think we're still learning with epigenetics and all of these new fields just how much we can actually change things. Um, there are, of course, things that are kind of written in our genes, but um, I think we're learning that there's a lot more that we can change. Most of us at some point in high school um, learned Mendelian genetics, right? Mendel, the monk, and his peas in his garden. Um, most people probably don't remember the details of that, but we also learn about eye, eye color. You know, it, it's uh, you know commonplace for people to understand that if both your parents have dark eyes, uh, with very rare exception, it's unlikely that you're going to get light eyes uh, as a child, but it's possible. But if you have one light-eyed parent and one dark-eyed parent, then you start to enter the probability game. And then at some point, your parents dictate a lot of your appearance, your phenotype, uh, and yet that there are aspects of our parents that are not seen in us at all and vice versa. And so I think for most people, when we think about genes, we think about heritability. But your work focuses a lot on the aspects of genetic expression that are subject to change based on what people choose to do or are forced to do in order to survive, something we call selection. So could you tell us about selection in terms of how quickly a given behavior, for example, can change our gene expression? I'm not aware of any way to change one's eye color without putting in like a colored contact lens. Now there's some esoteric things showing up online about people using these bizarre treatments to change their eye color. But for the most part, people accept that you're not going to change your eye color by behaving differently. 